You might recall that not long ago, we talked about Robert Morris. He's one of the, the religious leaders, spiritual advisors of Donald Trump that was shown to have for apparently years sexually molested a 12 year old. And it was finally released, it was revealed, and he actually was forced to resign from his position. I was surprised to see that. It is good to see some consequences for that. But apparently in an update that we're now finding out, uh, Cindy Clemenshire, the woman who was abused, his victim for literally years, reached out to him quite a while ago, back in 2005, and tried to get some sort of restitution for the horrendous experience that she had. And wait until you see what his response was. So she was 16, apparently, at this point when she reached out to him via email. email. Here's what she said. 23 years after you began destroying my life, I'm still dealing with the pain and damage you caused. I want some type of restitution. Pray about it and call me. He might have prayed, I don't know, but he did wait two weeks before responding and said, Debbie and I really do care for you and we sincerely want God's best for you, he wrote. That's a reference to his wife. And starting the response to the email from the victim of your rape with the name of your wife is an interesting strategy. He wrote that he'd, quote, long ago confessed his sins to Clemenshire's father and believed that he'd, quote, obtained your forgiveness as well as your family's. So the father apparently was okay with it. He didn't feel like he needed to talk to the victim of the many, many rapes, I guess. That's bad enough. Then he says this, my attorney advises that if I pay you any money under a threat of exposure, you could be criminally prosecuted. And Debbie and I do not want that. If you need more information, have your attorney contact mine. She doesn't say, as far as we've seen, she's not threatening revealing anything. He immediately leap, leaps to, just as he did in the initial instance when he raped her, told her, don't tell anyone because it'll ruin everything for me. His first thought, again, is not, what could I do to repair the horrendous spiritual damage I've done to you? It's, this could come about, out, out about me, and then you'll be you'll be charged with something, and, and we don't want that. So from now on, I'm not talking to you. Your lawyer can talk to mine. That's how much he wants her forgiveness, I guess. Francesca, what do you think? Well, yeah, just to just to clarify, because I think you you said she was 16, but she was 35 when she sent this email. Sorry, 16 during the, the previous period of the, the assaults. Right, right, yes. right, right. But she was she was 35. Um, but she's still like, look, that is an offering. That's not, I have called the authorities, you know, I am pursuing illegal action against you. He's the one who gets litigious about it. She's like, I want restitution. I want apology. I want some sort of literal, actual, important come to Jesus moment for you. Like she's giving him this out. And I find that to be, and this is, I'm just gonna say something, but often survivors who have not had you know, have not pursued legal action or maybe don't want legal action because they want to resolve this themselves interpersonally. Again, many people who have been sexually assaulted or raped know the person who did it. And this is her saying, I'm 35 now, I'm an adult. I know what you did to me was wrong and I'm reaching out to you, not again to lock you away forever, but but to try to solve this ourselves, to try to heal this as Christians in this community with you. Like, like that's what I'm hearing from this email. And yeah. he's just like, well, I got more money than you and way more lawyers, so F you, go away. Yeah, so That's so wild to me. That is so wild to me. And also, I guess, uh, befitting of a child rapist. Yeah, and and look, thankfully, this is the same sort of thing that that Trump would do. But in this case, he did have to step down. They actually did kind of the right thing, albeit decades too late. <music> Members make a difference here at TYT. You help make the show happen and we see you in the chat with your loyalty badge. Click the join button to become a member today.